Hello everybody, this is Juntes. Today we are finally going to be taking a look at the Firebow Amazon build. This was requested from back when I did my Ice Bow build. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So, <laughs> I think there is a reason why everyone makes either strafe or multiple shot, or maybe even some sort of guided arrow PvP build. The other variations for bow are just not very strong. But um, yeah, let's see a uh, health difficulty one player. I'm able to one shot the mobs. I'm also doing a lot of physical damage on top. As you see, 2.7k emulation arrow damage, which is not that high considering it's also fire damage. Considering something like a, a fireball wizard has up to 25k. The idea behind the build is basically just sort of like the fire druid where um, emulation hour goes on cooldown and while emulation hour is on cooldown you can spam exploding arrow. If you then uh, for some reason face fire immunities whatever you also have strafe as a backup spell. And like it annoys me you know just instantly putting on strafe which I by the way have maxed it already seems to do more damage than <laughs> you know, uh, the skill that you put 60 points into. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous how uh, underpowered uh, these spells are compared to just the normal, uh, you know, yeah, the normal abilities that everyone uses. I'm not gonna say it's totally crap, but there is also a reason why it's not really played much. But with this little introduction of the build other way, let's move on. So as you noticed in the introduction, there are not many guides or even, you know, standard how to do it builds on the internet. This build is basically my own creation and, um, you know, I just kind of winked the items and kind of how I like the builds for a bow Amazon in general. But um, let's just cover the stats really fast. Strength just to wear your, I believe it was, yeah, the wine force is the maximum strength required item. Then I put uh, enough points into dexterity again to just equip uh, wine force. Then I put points into vitality to I had, well, 99 in my case. I thought that looked pretty cool. This is before call to arms buff. And most of the points into dexterity just for more attack rating, damage, etc. Oh, and I can also mention the inventory really fast. So stuff like this ring here with lightning resistance, Highlight's Wrath, and yeah, and the small charms and the decent torch and Anilius, they all help to cap out fire resistance and get close to lightning resistance. Also, another thing is um, with so much dexterity going on in the build, you actually get a decent amount of attack rating for your strafe, which is pretty nice, and an overkill amount of attack rating for your emulation or even the uh, yeah, exploding arrow. You in general don't need more than like 10,000 attack rating for any physical build like a barb or bow Amazon, Yavison, whatever. Uh, 10,000 attack rating is plenty, so having this much is nice. So in total my gear has 95% increased attack speed. You have to remember also that this bow, unlike a faith, comes with attack speed. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty freaking great when you think about it because there's always like, there's always a debate on how to get, was it 92% increased attack speed with the Faith Grand Matron bow build. And uh, yeah, having that 20% increased attack speed on the Wine Force bow itself is just uh, very nice. But um, yeah, there's really nothing more to kind of note about the attack speed. Um, yeah, I could mention one thing. There is an increased attack speed uh, duel in the Andarius Resage, and then for the bow, or the Wine Force bow, even the socket in the Wine Force bow, you could either go with like an, an um, a, a bear, uh, any kind of rune that you like. I just went with a 40 max damage, 40 enhanced damage duel, because that's like, you know, raw damage, which I think is pretty cool for using Wine Force. But um, yeah, let's move on the gear then. Laying of hands, just because again there's so many demons in the game and like you can go with some, you know, crafted gloves with plus two to bow skills, etc. Like there's a lot of options, but I just feel like uh, these gloves are very nice. Also another thing is that they help a lot on the fire resistance. So even with all these uh, small charms here, you know, not the worst torch and Helios, 
um, we're still lacking quite a bit of fire resistance and um, yeah they are pretty sweet for both damage and that uh, fire resistance then a raven frost ring just because well <laughs> you kind of need it you know the attack rating is just massive so it helps a lot on strafe um, also kind of you know does an overkill amount of attack rating for immolation aura um, cold damage is always very good to have on a bow amazon so targets freezes dexterity for damage etc mana is very nice uh, if you're like getting mana burned and the 40 plus 2 mana is also going to get boosted quite a bit by your call to arms so overall a very good choice however if you are like you know insanely geared you know had the best of the best i would say that you should maybe just go with a dual leech ring or something really crazy crafted ring and uh, ditch the raven frost ring but that's kind of up to your own budget raise a tail for the pairs um, and then this ring here was just an example ring that i kind of just thought was decent enough to kind of show what stats you should aim for Attack rating uh, is not that needed, but again, it does help on strafe. Um, life leech is needed. You have to get life leech somewhere on the build, uh, besides Endowed's Resage, I suppose, but still having more life leech is always fun. Strength uh, helps to just equip the Wind Force bow, and then Lightning Resistance is highly recommended to get on this ring slot here to get uh, nice uh, Lightning Resistance together with uh, High Lord's Wrath. And then Gore Rider's Boots, um, if you don't feel like getting all these stats here, you know, uh, Open Wounds, uh, Deadly Strike, Crushing Blow, whatever, uh, you can just go with Elders. That would also be a really good choice for, you know, switching out the gloves or, or any other sort of options like that. Um, like, there's a lot of ways to do this, but again, Gore Riders just has some really sweet stats overall. But um, just keep in mind that Elders does uh, fit pretty well. Or maybe even some two res or tri res boots. Um, I use those on my live build as well. So yeah, I quite like that option. And then uh, a boring old fortitude. You could also just have gone with a you know, uh, yeah, a chains of honor, a similar you know, more budget friendly armor. I suppose the armor here is just you know, it gives good resistance. It has a lot of damage, etc. Our fortitude is always solid. And then Andorius Resage, um, you should really just value the a life steal on it. Try to get a 10% roll, because I really do like having a lot of leech on a bow Amazon build. Also, just because, again, this build is not doing that much damage, so it's not like a, well, a Grand Matron Bow Faith build, where you just uh, spray one around a multiple shot air and you leech like 700 health back or whatever so i quite like uh, getting a 10 percent bolt on andarius visage um yeah 30 strange is also gonna help equip the uh, wine force which is pretty sweet so it lines up pretty well and i suppose the minus 30 resistance is kind of a negative thing but again we have laying of hands on this uh, small champs and then poison resistance is covered too Highlights Wrath, there's really no other options. If for some reason you weren't using a Reaper's Tall Merc, which I do suggest, you should probably just use an Atmos Scarab Amulet or something like that. I don't know. Um, you could also have gone with a Cat's Eye Amulet. That is also a very fine option. But um, yeah, that's kind of up to yourself. I just like Highlights Wrath, also just for getting Lightning Resistance. And then finally, Wind Force. So why Wind Force for this build and not uh, Faith? Well, I like Wind Force. It gives so much uh, physical damage, which is pretty cool to see. Um, the increased attack speed on the bow itself is very cool. Um, it has mana leech on it, so that means that I didn't have to get a, like a dual leech ring here or whatever. Um, knockback is also pretty cool if I'm gonna stick with laying of hands. Um, yeah, there's really nothing more to say than that. Overall, Wine Force just blows away all other uh, bow options that I could personally see myself. Now, I haven't followed a guide, and maybe there are other options. I considered stuff like uh, a Witch Wield or a uh, Brand Room Word or similar, but I feel like Wine Force was just the, yeah, the best option in this case. But <laughs> I suppose I should just slap on faith and... I throw on a, on a socketed helm with the increased attack speed duels on it and be all boring and meta standard. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wanted to give Wind Force a go for this build. And then Call to Arms, just 
yeah, yeah, you could actually go with less life than I have as well, because I think I'm going to reach like 1.5k life once I have uh, call times up, which is quite a lot actually, since you're not supposed to get hit anyways, uh, as arranged with, uh, you know, two tanks, you know, both the Merc and the Valkyrie, and hell, you even have the decoy. So yeah, you could go with less life when you are using call times, which uh, again, just means more tag rating, which means more uh, damage to strafe and damage overall and whatnot. But yeah, I think that pretty much uh, rounds it up. So let's move on to some gameplay. So I just want to have you look at the, the damage before we kind of move on. You know, the fire damage uh, on exploding arrow and emulation damage, the red ones. It's not really high. Um, again, considering something like a fireball wizard, I know they're like, you know, the hardcore fire build, whatever in this game, but still not even 3k max damage and not even 1.5k on exploding damage. I feel like this could be, well, triple the damage and would still not be unbalanced. That's uh, kind of how I see it. So, the, so in, in the case of emulation damage, it should do like 10,000 damage and exploding air should do like 5,000 or something. That would be more fair. But we are getting highly carried by the physical damage of uh, Windforce bow itself. This bow here just gives so much high damage, which uh, again helps uh, a lot when the fire damage part itself is not that high. But uh, let's move on to some, hopefully not too many fire moons gameplay. Um, I could mention also that the exploding area, you know, it explodes on the target solar like fireballs. So I can just try to kill this pack only with the exploding arrow now. I mean, it, it's not like it's one shot. It, you can clearly see that if, if this was a fireball wizard, you would just kind of feel the uh, the one shot happening a bit more. Um, like, for instance, this pack here, it took three or four shots before they died. I wouldn't say it's slow. It's not slow at all. But when you're used to playing a fireball wizard, this is definitely just, uh, yeah. Um, if it should compare it to any build that it does uh, kind of, you know, s have similarities to, uh, Fire with Druids. Um, this one is just overall better than a Fire Druid at least, so yeah, if, if there's any, you know, positive, uh, you know, comments about it being better than probably one of the worst builds for PVM, then yeah, that's, uh, that's maybe something uh, for another debate. But um, yeah, I think uh, with this little uh, gameplay here, we can move on to something a little bit harder, you know, something that doesn't uh, have uh, completely no fire immunities in it and whatnot. Okay, so I do want to show off this build, uh, you know, pretty decently. So if I'm not gonna talk too much in this part, just because I'm, you know, trying to stay a little bit focused, um, yeah, just keep that in mind. Uh, notice the leech now, by the way, since I'm down a little bit of health now. Um, it's actually okay. I mean, we are leeching like a hundred health when a uh, when a uh, you know exploding arrow connects. So it's actually you, you know it's uh, it's okay for survival. Let's see if we can get a bit of a density going on. This is ridiculously low. <laughs> Okay, a nice little pack there. It looks very cool with just the instant, uh, you know, <laughs> fire effects going on. If there's any build that sort of reminds me about, it's actually my fireball wizard build um, where I weave in uh, frozen orb with fireball. Uh, having two spells on the both left and right mouse button, just uh, spamming those two, uh, not for, no other abilities, it's actually kind of fun gameplay. Um, like in my mind, when I push the emulation hour and I see the fire, I kind of just know, okay, shoot, 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 exploding arrow, and then a new uh, emulation arrow. I like that sort of gameplay where you kind of, you know, use two spells all the time. A lot of uh, abilities or skills uh, built in Diablo 2, whatever, uh, they don't really, yeah, they don't really have a rotation like this. So utilizing two abilities constantly, it's pretty good. Okay, a nice little pack up here, and it was down pretty fast. Uh, notice, however, that I did get the uh, mana burned now, so. Having such a low amount of mana, uh, it's a bit annoying because, uh, 
yeah, uh, the mana cost on both abilities are pretty high and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> let's try to get to the next level here. See if we can get a little more density, because it was very empty on level 2, I have to say. <laughs> oh, that hurt it. This freaking extra strong elite pack. That Now my little curry died as well. Ah, come on, Mr. Merc, help me! <laughs> okay, that was a, a quick pack. Now my Might Aura is also up from the Merc, or was it already up before? I didn't really notice. Anywho, the Mercy Chan obviously tanking very well there. And I actually did forget to mention that the Mercy Chan is not using an Eve Reaper's Toll. Uh, for the showcase of the video and build and whatnot, I didn't really want to... Yeah, make the Mercy Chan too overpowered. Oh, and did you notice the Death Lords? Fire Immunes, but they still died pretty fast. Sure, the Mercy Chan helped me there, but... Yeah, it's good to see that even fire immunities die pretty fast. It's not like on a fire druid where I'm literally, uh, you know, stopping uh, doing no damage at all or so. Uh, when, uh, yeah, when shit happens. <laughs> Look at the Mercy Chen, man. It's ridiculously good tank, but uh, yeah. Let's uh, try to do some good damage here. You can kind of get an idea for Death Lords and Doom Knights that are all fire immunes. Man, so much spamming on both mouse, mouse buttons, it's pretty cool. Let's see about this one. Oh, I love the knockback from Laying of Hands when it does help me out. But yeah, you can see something like this one with like stone skin and whatnot. Uh, it just feels like it doesn't really connect a lot. But yeah, I think that pretty much uh, rounds up for the fire abilities. I also just kind of here Gen 1 to show off some Strafe gameplay, just to kind of give you an example how that looks. Again, Strafe is maxed, so like it should do as much damage as any other Strafe uh, Wine Force builds. Man, the, the levels are so empty. <laughs> actually have to look around. But yeah, as you can see, at certain areas strafe would be nice uh, compared to even just the uh, emulation aura. Um, one should perhaps just only use emulation aura and strafe. Um, that would probably be the best overall. But, you know, for the sake of demonstration and, you know, Got down the title in the video as well. I wanted to show off, you know, that full feeling of a, a Firebow Amazon. So time to wrap up the build. Thank you so much for suggesting it. Uh, the last build I did for the Ice Rune World build, um, you know, the build was actually performing really good uh, compared to this build as well. I was actually very surprised by its power. So if you know you're bored of that multiple shot arrow spraying Amazon that cost. You know, I, oh my god, I talked about that way too much, but yeah, basically Bow Amazon sucks and they're too expensive to make uh, for what you get out of it and whatnot, everyone knows that by now, but um, the Bow Amazon build, the, the one that I recently did, the Ice one, was actually very good and strong, I have to say. It's definitely stronger than this build. Um, but I have to say that this build sort of feels more fun, it feels more flashy, it feels more unique because there is no freaking way that you can go into an online game now on Battle.net, whatever and find somebody playing this build right now. It is that rare. Um, and again, you saw the introduction of the video, nobody even freaking makes a guide for it. I, I literally spent half an hour googling, and I'm not bad at googling by the way, uh, that's sort of a, a skill of mine, I suppose. And I still wasn't able to find a decent, well-formatted, 100% pure, uh, focused uh, bow fire mission build. So, yeah, this build, uh, if you want to be unique and you want to do something differently, 
and you kind of also kind of want to do it not that expensively because again like wine force is not too expensive uh, and Dario Zates is definitely way more uh, less costly than uh, you know the socketed helm for the grand matron uh, bow um, yeah you don't even have to get tri boots whatever you can go with cheap rings and no way the inventory has to be this good as mine it just helps again on the survival if you're going for you know the specific gear setups that i showed so yeah overall it's not that expensive build and it's actually kind of fun uh, the more i play it the more i'm kind of liking it um i'm not even gonna try and show it off in a chaos run or whatever like that's not the point of the build if you want to do chaos run and a bow amazon just make that damn uh, multiple shot arrow <laughs> build that everyone else makes and I have made uh, myself a lot on the channel as well but um, yeah I think that pretty much rounds it up so again thank you so much for watching and as always keep suggesting builds if you have you know ideas and whatever and then I will just uh, yeah as always thank you for watching and have a good one